Okay, one of these fell off last night, so usually that is the sign that I am ready to, it's been a week, so usually that's the sign that I'm ready. So what I do is just take my big clippers and there's something about when you do this, it kind of breaks the seal. Okay, go ahead and do all of them first. Because you want your nails underneath to be short anyway. It helps them last longer. Okay, so that one, and I even will just trim it up. Like that. And this desk has been through it. Brooke and I, it was kind of banged up when I got it anyway, but I, I say Brooke and I, but I mean a little bit of I and a lot of Brooke. She's been doing her nails up here for ever since I had it. And I think some of the nail polish remover and stuff has gotten on it. Yuck. I hate all that glue underneath it. Normally I would do this. This is Friday morning. Normally I would do this on a night and give my nails a chance to be conditioned and stuff. But it just so happened that that one came off last night. So all you got to do is as soon as you get under... Like that one just came right off. They just come right off. You just have to, it would help if I could get one of my thumbs off first. See, that one just came right off. It's kind of like the seal has already been broken a little bit. There you go. There you go. And it leaves some of the glue residue behind. These could have, I, what I could have done is um, glue that one nail back on probably for a couple more days. But I usually like to replace them about once a week anyway. I feel like my nails need a break. And they look better. I don't like it when they start growing away from the cuticle. As soon as you, you put your finger under there and it just breaks that seal. It doesn't even, it leaves the glue kind of a little bit on your hand. It doesn't take off your nail. You'll know when you, yeah, see like right there. I didn't even, this one. Yep. So are they all off? Yes. So what I'll do now is put some lotion on them and soak them real good before I put the new ones on. Okay, you guys, so here we go. I did my own manicure. It is not perfect, but I am scared to keep on flipping. I can see I still need to, I've done. It's so hard to do with my left hand on my right. But I have done so much of the cuticle remover like before I got in the shower all of it like this one I'm just scared so I think I've gotten it pretty good looks like 
this one has a little bit more. Okay, you're probably freaking out at my desk being so messed up. This is from Doing Nails, and it was already kind of beat up and scarred up when I got it from World Market, but Brooke really finished it off. When you spill like remover and stuff on it and so now I just don't even worry about it but what I'm trying to do is get my cuticles pushed back you know some people have bad feet some people have bad this and that I have bad cuticles they do not want to they want to stay on my nail they want to grow right out with my nail and it's not as easy just to keep them pushed back. Okay, now we are going to open. I went ahead and opened or cut the tape. This is the best type of nails. And I'll take them out. I'm usually doing this while I'm watching a video or something. And let me see if I can. Sometimes I just use one from the old package but I'll go ahead and open that you have to twist off the top so everything you need will come in the pack and then I empty those out I think I use a lot of these Here are the rest of them. Okay, so go ahead and get rid of all of that. And I already have a lot of them saved, you know, from other ones in case I lose one and need to glue it back on. But that really honestly never happens because as soon as I feel them getting loose, I go ahead and cut them and take them off just like I either have shown you or will show you. Okay, this is the file and the little stick that comes with it. You will use those, but one thing I always do before I put them on is clip my nails down short. The shorter your nails are, the better. Oh my goodness, I hear Chanel. She thinks I'm talking to her. Okay, the shorter your nails are, the better the nail will stick and stay on. So I don't worry about them being really pretty. I just kind of cut them down. I see you. Like this one. And this one. Okay, so they're short. I feel like that you can remove them easier too. There's less of your nail for them to, you know, glue on to. And I do not like the look of the natural nail up underneath. The fake nail. Now, if you're wondering, does th do these damage your real nails? Yes, you can definitely see that they're damaging just a little bit on the ends, but it is nothing compared to gel or acrylic, nothing. Like I could easily, this damage on the ends would be grown out in a week or two. Whereas with the um, acrylic or gel nails, that damage takes the whole nail to grow out. This is not as bad at all. Okay, so first thing I do is, a lot of times I'll go ahead and get rid of these because I just, I mean, that's bigger than my toenail almost. So I just know I'm never gonna need those. Um, I know that my right thumb is, or my right hand is bigger than my left. 
So you just decide, do you want to use ones that are a little bit bigger than your nail or smaller? Just depends. Like that one, I could easily use that, but it's a little bit, I feel like it might be a tiny bit bigger. You look at this one, is it the same? I don't know, I feel like that one might be a little bit better. So that's what I do, is I kind of go through and get the nails and decide what is gonna look good where. Like that is too big for this middle finger, so I know it's gonna be too big for this one because this hand is smaller. So I can set that aside. I see you, I see you. Okay, for this thumb, like that is too big. Does it fit this one better? See, this is probably a really good fit for that. See how snug it is? And so I'm gonna put that aside and have this out for this hand. And then I just kind of go through these. Like I see that is a good fit for that one. And I just lay them out. This is kind of a big one. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. A little bit too big for that, but it's perfect for the middle. I see you, goodness gracious. That girl is needy. Okay, hmm. Yeah, this might be even better to do that. Okay, the pinkies, there's always just one pinky nail small enough for this pinky. Look how incredibly small that pinky is. Okay, so I know that one goes there, and then I look, and I go ahead and find the other pinky nail, which is that one. Then, like this little small nail. Hmm. It's actually a pinky nail, too, but I think it's too big for both of mine. Okay, this is a little small nail. So I could use it on this pointer finger. I'm gonna see, I like to use, I like to error, as long as they fit good, I usually error on them just a little bit bigger because my nails are small. Hmm, is that the same one as this one? I think this one might be a tad bit bigger, so this is perfect for that. See, I've already gotten that hand. Okay, so that is that one. That is the pinky. Let's find the thumb. That is a little bit big. Let's see if this one, yes, that one just fits like a club. It fits right in there. Okay, and then this. Okay, these might be the same. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be perfect for that one, yes. So I just need to find my pointer, my index finger, and looks like that is it. Okay, so you have both of your nails out here. move you like that. Okay, so now I start and I take the glue, I take the nail I'm going to use, I put one drop in the nail and one drop on my nail, a generous drop. Then I grab it. These little tabs make it so easy and I kind of put it down and kind of smush the glue out and then I kind of put the nail back in the nail bed and then push it down from there. Hold it for just a minute and it's on like that. Then you just take this tab and break it off. Okay, 
so I go to the next one, turn it over, dot on my finger, dot on the nail, back towards the nail bed, of course. I kind of squish the glue out, and then I, from the back to the front, push it down. Even, see there's a little bit of glue that squished out a little bit, that will come right off within a day. Then you can break that part off. Okay, the fingernail, that. If you just do one, it's just not the same. So I'm gonna kind of stick it back into that and push it down. Okay, turn that over, a dot, a dot, okay, put it back into the cuticle, push it down, like that. I have my notebook on the chair over here, let me move it for her, like that. Okay, let me move this. Let me move this for you, ma'am. I know. Okay, goodness. Okay. Move her up here so she can be close. Okay, and then this little tiny nail here. Same thing, just a tiny nail, a tiny drop and a tiny drop and, and I always do this up here before I put my contact in and you know and then this breaks right off like that okay bigger drop of glue bigger drop of glue just because it's a bigger nail. Now I'll put it down in there, kind of squish it. You're trying to keep those bubbles out, but it's almost impossible. And hold it down like that and break that off. Okay. Drop. Okay, I can see that that has a bunch sticking out, so I'm gonna take this and just kind of swipe that little, there was a big bubble of glue that came out of the back, so before it dries, you can kind of wipe that off. Like that. And hold on and I'll show you what to do about that little tab that comes out. And I had washed my hands and didn't have on any lotion. Last night I put on plenty of the Colleen Rothschild hand lotion. You can see I love this stuff. And I really had soaked my nails and my cuticles in that overnight. But you can't do it like right before you do this or do a video. So I'm sure my hands probably look rough and dry. No, they're not that bad. They're bony just because, one, they're bony. Two, when you lose weight and you lose fat and you get older, that's what happens. I had beautiful hands when I was younger and I think that's the thing. When you have um, these long, slender hands and fingers when you're young, it just means they're going to get even more <laughs> slender when you're older. But 
I did have some good hands when I was younger. Okay, just got off that little bit of glue. There are gonna be many people saying, I did this wrong, I should do it this way. You have to find what way works best for you. Okay, I put a big thing of glue there, so I'm gonna barely put any on this little baby, baby nail. But I just know, anytime I have tried to, hold on, sassy, uh-uh. She was scratching my chair and there was a scratching pad right below her. Um, but anytime I have just done the one dot, they do not hold at all as good as the two dots. I don't know what it is about it. Okay, so I can break that off. Okay, so then I have these everywhere. I don't really need to save it. I have extra nails everywhere. I don't need to save anymore. So I am gonna throw that away. And now I take this little filing stick and I just gently file off every little tab that is left. It just goes right away like that. Like that. Okay, and that is it. So I usually wear them like this for sometimes the whole time. I just think they're so, so pretty. But then if I get the urge, I just paint them. Let's see, like here's Funny Bunny, here's Strawberry Margarita, some of my favorites. I'm not even gonna lift those over here. And then I do usually use some type of top coat just to keep them shiny. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you later today. Bye-bye.